What's up guys, this is Ryan Jones with I Love Basketball TV. Today in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a complete ball handling workout that's meant for beginners. So we all start somewhere. In fifth grade, my first year playing organized basketball, I was the worst ball handler on the team, always turning it over. But I went on to be a division one point guard and a professional point guard. So I'm gonna give you guys all the drills that I used to start off and make sure you go ahead and save these for later. And as always, click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our I Love Basketball TV content. All right, so before we get into this first set of drills here, something I cannot stress to you guys enough. My dad always told me when I first started playing basketball, there is no excuse that you can't dribble and do layups equally with both hands. You just gotta put that time in. So when we do these different drills, especially our one hand drills, let's make sure we spend extra time on our weak hand so we can become equal on both sides and be, have a lot more options on the court. So to start off here, we gotta do our basic pound dribble, but it's important, let's get in a wide stance, wide feet here, low base. I don't wanna be bending over completely at my back here. So let's try to get that butt down a little bit and your chest up. So it's gonna be sort of a burnout. So I'm gonna do 20 at ankle height, 20 at hip height, and then 20 pounds at my shoulder. So I'll start low here, chest still up. I do my 20 taps, and then eventually I'm gonna get up to my waist here. Let's pound the ball. We should have really loud dribbles. And then let's get up to that shoulder height, pound that ball all the way till you get to 20 and then go ahead and switch hands. All right, so for the first drill, we're gonna get into our pound dribble series. But since you guys are beginners, I gotta make sure you understand these fundamentals of dribbling. So when you guys dribble the ball, I see a lot of young kids kind of having a loose wrist or maybe a stiff wrist, but they're just kind of slapping at the ball. We wanna make sure we use our fingertips and our finger pads here, and we go ahead and push through that elbow and flick that wrist down and really pound that ball. We don't want soft dribbles here and we don't wanna smack at it. Let's have pound dribbles really hard. All right, so now we're gonna get into a figure eight dribble. Now it's still a beginner's drill, but it's a little bit more on the advanced size for a beginner. So make sure, you know, we did our 20 pound dribbles low here first, low with your fingertips. Let's make sure you get used to keeping the ball alive at this height, because for our figure eight, we're gonna keep the same thing, low with those fingertips around the leg, and then switch hands. So keep it low. That last dribble should be a harder one just to get it through and then you switch hands. And we can go in both directions with this. So I can go behind the leg and then I can go in front of the leg. So this third drill is gonna be our V dribble. Now this is a single hand drill. So again, make sure you get equal at it with both hands. So I start here, I still have my low wide base, good center here. And I'm gonna start with my right hand for this demonstration. And I'm gonna go ahead and V dribble all the way to the other side try to get it to this other knee and then back. So I V, back, I can rock a little bit with the ball and then eventually, you know, get your rhythm, start to get comfortable with this and then try to go a little faster until you eventually lose the ball. So our next one is gonna be our in and out dribble and this is very important for overall ball control. So I'll start with my left hand here. Pretty much the premise of it, you gotta keep your hand on top or on the side the entire time but I'm gonna push that ball over the top to the middle, try to get it to the center of my frame, and then I push it back out all in one dribble. So I'll take a couple dribbles, couple pound dribbles, and then in and out. Couple pound dribbles, in and out. Make sure you try to get it here, sell that fake crossover. And once you get good at this, this is gonna help your handle out a lot. Just feeling a lot more comfortable, being able to manipulate the ball, and change directions and speeds with that ball. All right, so now that you got the hang of that, we're gonna go ahead and work on our between the legs dribble. So I'll get the ball in my right hand, put that left foot forward. We still have a good low wide base. I'm gonna take a couple pound dribbles here, go between, and then I'll take a few pound dribbles over here and then come back. So that's the first phase of it. I start here between the legs, a few dribbles back through the legs. Once you get the hang of that, we're gonna try to now go continuous back and forth through that left leg. And now the third one here, which is a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna start here with my right hand. I'll go ahead and go between the legs, bring that ball back around, and now let's switch sides and go with the left hand under the right leg. So you could take a few dribbles at first, between the legs, get it back in front, between, between, and then eventually once you get the hang of that, we'll try to go continuous. So I'll go between every single dribble, alternating legs, shifting that body weight with each dribble. All right, so the same strategy that we used to do our between the legs dribble and build that up, we're now gonna do the same thing with our behind the back. 
So I'll start here with my right hand, take a few pound dribbles, put it behind my back, regain the ball over here and get a couple more pound dribbles in and then go back to the other side. So again, this is the first progression. Do this until you get the hang of it. Don't be frustrated if you struggle with these. Everyone starts somewhere. It's just about the time you put in. And then eventually, I'm gonna try to go continuous behind the back with every dribble, shifting my body weight a little bit, keeping that low and wide stance. And then eventually you can pick up your speed and really push yourself. All right, so for the most part, that's it for the beginner drills, but I'm gonna give you guys some bonus ones that you can work towards that are a little bit harder. All right, so for this one, I always thought this was really cool as a kid. I really wanted to do it, especially when I couldn't. We're gonna go ahead and walk up and down the court doing a between the legs dribble. So I'm gonna stay upright this time, left foot forward, right hand goes between. Then I take another step and go between, and we'll try to just keep that same rhythm, just walking up and down the court keeping that ball attached to us the whole time, between the legs dribble with each one. Eventually when I get down to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse it, and this time I'm gonna try backwards. So again, don't be frustrated. These are more advanced ones. I'm giving you bonus things for you guys to work towards. So I start here, put that foot back, and I try to be nice and smooth with it, going between the legs. If you really get the hang of that, you can start doing a little bit of a skip dribble. Same concept. So now we're gonna do a similar concept, but with a behind the back dribble this time. So let's try to stay somewhat low here. I don't need to be super low, but not standing straight up. I'm gonna go ahead and go behind the back continuously. If I go behind the back to my left hand, the left foot steps. So as I go left here with the ball, I step with the left. And then as I go back right, I step with the right. And then I'm gonna continue to walk, try to keep a consistent, comfortable rhythm, head up, just feel that ball. And then eventually, once we get down all the way to the other end, we're gonna try to do the same thing going backwards. Again, so these are pretty difficult here. Work on those beginner drills that I had at the beginning. And now you have something to work towards and something to improve on and work towards with a goal until you can get much better at your ball handling.